I finally found my private terminal. I I was looking for it for so long. Uh, new digs. Miranda Lawson. Oh. Shepard would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime. I'm in the area. Okay. Let's go out and be normal people. You know what you need, Shepard? You need a night where you get to just hang out and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's get something to eat. After that, we could go down to the strip or whatever you want. Let me know. Hey, next time you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. Uh, oh, if you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. Okay. Uh, when you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet up at Silver Coast Casino. Javik? Uh, a interesting proposal? Okay. Uh, we are we here at the, are a huge fan of yours. Sure. Okay then, well, let's go around then. Guess we get out of here and then go there. Her apartment is so big. Why there is no message from the others? Like, the others are not... Okay, Zaid. Oh, Zaid is here as well. Okay, so Javik is over here, so maybe we could start to with him. Wait, where is? Huh? But it's closed, isn't it? No, it's open. Here is what? It's still one. Javik, Garris, and the party supplies are pretty close. I hope that getting party supplies does not lock everything out. Where's Javik? Wait for Javik, okay. <laughs> what, he, what is he up to? Hi. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. A Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard, I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention, the Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. What is happening? And action. Commander Shepard. Thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Oh. Uh, sure. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later. <laughs> the Vorcha counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. You oh, now yeah. Then, oh wise Prothean elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. <laughs> it's even better when the Solarian is still alive. <laughs> the fear adds spice. Oh my God! Prothean, no like you. Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. Wait, is not that if the only movie? only someone had warned us about them years ago. This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory center. Uh, actually, that was me. 
Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. What is happening? And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. He's giving up? In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? A Javik? Oh, no luck, you. This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner <laughs> of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You're an idiot. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid <laughs> jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe. Now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. What is what? Look! It's Sovereign's half brother, Sluggard. And he's looking for some payback. Is Sluggard? Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you'll die now! Oh no, the Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated! <laughs> what the fuck? This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorta Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This is a mess. This one insists. Excuse me! This one me. doesn't care. <laughs> This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. Oh, don't do this! No, you're hard to you. go now, Commander. Okay. Uh, let's let's get out of Strike here. Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Did he die? The poor Vorcha? With the production of Francis Kidd's All L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Do I know? I don't. Wow. That was insane. Where is Garrus? He's directly over he here? Uh, over here then. He's inside the Silver Coast? Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Garrus? Hi? He didn't... Oh no. Hmm. Party supplies, okay, but... Oh, this is the casino that I was at. So Garrus, where are you? Oh, you're up there. How do we get up there, though? Is there a way? <laughs> hey, how are you? Looking forward to tomorrow? Of course I remember. Lands? I thought you could meet me down on the strip. We'd go from there. Anything you want to do, just name it. You want to go where? In these times, uh, he wants to take his girlfriend to the strip? Blasto six partners in crime. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, I don't I'm probably gonna restart the game because I don't know what's happening to it. So there I was taking cover behind a table in the middle of this Asari monastery. Where are you? Zion on my right side, pinning me down. Abominations coming into the room on my left. You're lying. Oh, that's brutal. I remember what you So who's this patriarch person you keep going on about? What? You never heard of Mighty Patriarch? Patriarch from um, Mass Effect 2? Wait, I am in the wrong place again. Am I? I don't know where Garrus is. What should we do first? Oh, there you go. Wait for Garrus. Let's do it. What's going on?
Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back oh, at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? Uh, no. I was thinking a date. Oh, excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. You're the bad boy. Remember, you're Archangel. So, there were, uh... <clears throat> there were these mercs. Raising hell on Omega. I had to take them down. Now I've got these scars. I see. Maybe there's an ointment for that? <laughs> Lord, keep it simple. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. He's bad at this. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. <laughs> this poor guy! I'm so sorry. Oh. He is feeling sad now. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Oh, it worked. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Garrus is so bad at this. I feel so bad for him. Uh, where is it? Okay. So, Zaid? Castle or Cade? But where is Cade and then the others? Like, James? Pretty she cheap. Right, let's go to Zaid then. The Eden trainer. Surprising that he's still in here. Citadel. Mm, number six goes to where? I don't even know. <laughs> good luck and good evening. Sure. Um. Is that a door? So can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Elcor Shakespeare? Actually, I'm mounting for Alright, I restarted the game. Welcome to Castle Arcade. Good night. Thank you. Where is Zaid? Oh, he didn't help much. Take that. The updated intel reports on stripping enemy defenses. Let's see what trainer is up to. What is she gonna do? Where where the heck is Caden though? I need to see him and Vega and the others like Tali. Oh, this plan. Kepeshiakshi. Salarian's mad. You go, trainer. Do it. Did she win? Woo! Nice. Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? Is it? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. Hello. To Sousa. Oh, they know each other. Trainer, <laughs> would you <laughs> like to that? just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. How do they know each other? Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Win this thing. Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. Roger that. 
<laughs> this is amazing. Let's go. Do it. You better win. <gasps> oh, damn it. Ah! So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Ooh, can she overturn? A few more you? centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maiden's tactics and strategy through this game. You're not that good. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia... You had all the warning in the world and the Reapers just rolled in. That's a low Excuse blow. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachna either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? Shepard. The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry to Sousa. This might sting a bit. Ooh! Oh! Ah! She won! Oh my goodness! Oh! Huh? Is she... Is she okay? Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. You're all right. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? That was a low blow. Where's Aid? Where's Aid Masani? Castle Arcade. He is in the Castle Arcade, but where is the question? Oh, I see him, actually. Kind of hard to miss. His armor. Come on, you bastard. God <laughs> damn it. What are you doing? Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? Aww. He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. He can't win, huh? Where's the kid? What do I care? Oh, now he's... Only credit, oh, Shepard. wow. <laughs> Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? God, I'm right, I do. Okay then. Okay then. Credits. She she said the same thing that I did. Say please. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. Please. Is he gonna please. say it? Please. Yes. Oh my God. Give him some credit. <laughs> God damn it. You are so easy, bad at it. Easy. Oh. Reed, calm down. You it's get obviously it. rigged somehow. Huh. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Let us Probably try. Some smart ass Salarian bastard. Maybe. He really pissed. I'm going back in. Credits. How many credits are we spending? All right. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino, more uh, cool. Let's play. But this time you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Are you? Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. Are we? Gonna... I think I knew that about you. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. 
Well, we cleared. So, so what do we need your tech armor in emergency? What do we do no, now? Pretty much all the time. Can we go to another area? Good evening, now. To meet other people? Ooh, sorry. For some reason the DLC keeps stuttering here on my PC. Oh well. Alrighty, I am confused. Invite up. Oh! Oh, we can invite people to our house. Okay. Let's invite Caden then. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm very curious. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? Probably not We're heading heading out, Caden. <laughs> really? We'll just end up back here anyway. Am I right? Trust me. Let me impress you. Excuse me. No, no, really. Come on. What are you gonna you do? You want me to sit there and watch you cook? Why not? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. <laughs> My God. Okay then. Let's do it. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef. Bacon, we have beer. Is it cooking? The foods of my people. Aww. Wish me luck. You like to cook, Shepard? I do. Roommate on Arcturus taught me. He said eating cafeteria crap 24 7 was bad for morale. <laughs> Is there anything you're bad at? Where'd you learn to cook? Class is a jump zero, believe it or not. Young biotics who can't cook for themselves risk starving. Did you pass? You're burning the garlic. <laughs> Sorry. He's... Yeah. Yes, I'm distracted. I was gonna Bye. say that. I wonder. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. So cute. So. We have hot sauce, right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this is adorable. This was great. What? Is it over? Well, what do you suggest? Let's get in trouble. I think we need to find a way to burn off these calories. Don't uh, you? Uh, Shepard! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's it. Ooh. That was it. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay, okay, Caden. Okay, Caden. That was great. So, let's invite Edie. Wait, let's invite James because I'm curious what he wants in my apartment. <laughs> what do you want, James Vega? You don't want to romance me, but you want to come to my apartment? What's your deal? I'm just joking, by the way. I have to, to say that because... Hey, in, Shepard. And me too, I made a nice joke. Nice place. Might not look so nice after joke. throwing that party you were talking about. True. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? He would. Me? No. Never. Sure. So? Nice view. But this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. What are you used Which to? Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. Nice. You miss it? I think yeah. you do. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. Why? The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it. Yeah, I saw. Uh-huh. He does I'm not getting between you and Caden, am I? He's not. <laughs> not even remotely. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What? You made up tattoo with my name? Oh, nice. <laughs> he made an M7 tattoo. That looks great. What do you think? 
It suits you. Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for Thanks the... for coming by, James. Thank you for showing your back. Aww. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. It's Hasta so la cool. vista, Shepard. Hasta la vista, James. Resting. Okay. Catch you later, Shep. Bye. Oh, he's leaving. No, he's not. You're staying in my apartment. <coughs> Sorry. What the hell? No way. What is happening? Where are you going? Oh, God. You've been holding out on me. Oh, so you're... Oh, man. <coughs> this is sweet. You won't stay? <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Did not expect that at all. DLC. <coughs> Super, um, Look intense. at you. You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Uh-huh. Maybe. Oh, this should be good. Honestly, I can't even do, like, two <laughs> push-ups. Come on, Shepard. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do that 182 times. <clears throat> Keep it up, amigo. <clears throat> Let's do it. Come on, Shepard. Come on, Shepard. <clears throat> How many times did I do? I lost count. <clears throat> Huh. Okay, I guess we should probably stop now. <laughs> but it's addicting. Should I keep going? I bet there's someone that is gonna do like the 182. Okay, we good. There we go. Pull up's not really your thing? No. No, it, it's just that, you know, we we're we can't. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> Sure, if you want to. Do you, I guess. I'm just gonna invite someone else and you're gonna be there. Hmm. Why there is no TV in here? The TV is like, not in the right place. Oh, there is a TV here. Okay, I think that we can keep inviting people up. I was just looking around the apartment to see if there was anything that I missed. So, I think not. So, are we inviting Tally now, I think? James is still here, though. We're gonna have to kick him out. Okay, let's invite Miranda. Where's Samara and Joker and everybody else? Will I get more emails? Hey! Miranda. Good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. It was Anderson, not me. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. Right. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> It did. So, a clone? <laughs> yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? How did that happen? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Did you know her? Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Yeah, she mentioned that. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. Mm. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. She had another idea, though. I mean, really? A clone? Miranda seems baffled about this. Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm she not sure died. the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. <laughs> it would be a mess. Oh, 
They shut down my favorite sushi place. Because of Shepard. That's a shame. <laughs> Shepard, you didn't. You did. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. Amazing. How did you manage that? Not sure. It exploded. <laughs> hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Right. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. Oh. No wonder you're a clone. <laughs> Are you resist. talking about my fish? It was the first step in taking over my whole life. <laughs> we stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I kind of like it that way. I'd describe it as engaging rather than dangerous. Exactly. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? Oh. I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. How do Come you be sure? you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Maybe you did. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. Aww. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. That booty, though. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You can't not look at the booty. <laughs> God damn. Okay, who else is coming? Let's eat it. And then saving Tali, the best girl, for her last. Tali's like a little sister, though. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Right. Shopping. I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Mm. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, Live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? Of course I'm not. I'm formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. Yeah. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Something you both like. Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. Yeah. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. But... Yeah. The 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 Look kilometers the per price. hour. Look at the price! Making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. But the price! Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. Sorry. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. I even you bit my mic. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Yeah. Who's next? <laughs> that was better. You are. Close your eyes. Okay. Should I? Oh! I opened my eyes too uh, early. Are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Almost as rare as you. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? Not that it's way. It's about the counts, and you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? You did. <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. We're getting gifts for everyone. Aww. That's so cool. That's so nice. Hi, Glyph. Huh? 
Commander, I see you have purchased the necessary party supplies. I have. When you are ready, you can send invitations from your private terminal. Sure. What is this? Oh, the stereo. Okay. We still got Tali. Are we going to get more emails? There's more people. Samara, Jacob, right? There's more. I wish Tane was here. If Tane was here, I would not be with Caden, like, not gonna lie. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shall I and Bellicus on the balcony? Do I? Well, I don't think I've ever seen that vid. What? You've never? <laughs> How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Yay, pajama party! <laughs> Not pajama party. But shall I? We can never be together. I have my duty, and you have your people. Sounds like something Not I would tonight. watch. Yeah. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Wait, wait, hold on. What if Tali and Garris though? Like, I think that would be a cu cute Kobo, wouldn't it? So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Aww. Kila. So many feelings. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Not Shepard style. When this style. is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. No. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Did they totally kiss? worth it? Damn. So, no more message. More message. Invite Liara. Yes. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's do it. What are we doing, Liara? Wait, is she playing the piano? Oh, Shepard looks so proud. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Is your mom teaching? Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover. Intel to gather. A commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Why this song? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. This is so nice. The person who taught me that song was a friend. Did she die? I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. Oh, Liara. What have you learned from me? I suppose... <laughs> How to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? Oh, God. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. I'm gonna miss this game. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. You can work here. You're free to use the apartment. Thank you, Shepard. I think I will. Yeah, you stay. You should stay. Leave? Thank you. 
this place is nice. It Shall is. I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes. Thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. If they play this at the ending, it's a low blow and it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Do we have more messages? Probably not, right? Wish they have. Oh, there's not? Why not? Oh, I can't. But I don't want to invite everybody now. There is probably more people, right? There's more people. There's Jacob, there's Grunts, there's Rex. Don't we get to talk to them before the party? Aww. Here, anyway, let's see what Joker is up to. Huh. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. Are you trying to convince her? She didn't like See, that. See, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Oh my god, what is he doing? Ha <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Oh, Joker. Oh shit, Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> What'd he do? He didn't do that. He's lying. <laughs> like this. It's joking time. Oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker. Oh, no! Yes. You were. Joker, um, are you serious? Boom. Oh. Ah! That's right. You just landed on the island of Dr. Me. You guys. <laughs> And that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. Oh my. She is not impressed. No. <laughs> oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Hey, lady. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, He's tell Shepard! He's telling Hi. the truth! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Morrow is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives. Myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. We're lying, though. Drinks <laughs> on me, Lieutenant. But he saved everybody, yes, with uh, the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. Awkward. You can pay me back later. That's awkward. It's very, very awkward. What can I get for you? Okay, you guys. So I had to ask my I friend. A new message. You see, I had to ask my friend Google how to get more messages, and that's why I left to go to the strip club just to, you know, pass some time. Didn't know Joker was there. So, now we have new messages. Yep. Brain check. Samantha Trainer. Thanks for sticking around to watch me go head to head with the Souza. Sorry again for messing up our lunch plans. Love to get a rain check. Let me know. Whenever you're free, I'll come by. Tamara! I overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought I'd write to see how you're doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there is any way that I can be of assistance to you, do not hesitate to call. Oh. Koliat. Commander. I was somewhat surprised to receive a con call from the console. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there. As well as those people in the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services, people who speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part of the com 
As the commander of the Normandy, to be honest, I'm somewhat nervous I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal to me. Hey, who's this? Officer Johnson. Oh! <laughs> Grunt! Oh, what are you doing? Your presence has been requested to concern an incident involving a crow candidate to fight as Grunt. Please report to the CSAC officer on patrol on the Silver Sun Street for additional details. Oh, Jacob! So the Normandy is in dry dock. Seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me outside the arcade on the main level if you're game. So Zaid is the last one. Okay, um... I'm scared. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane oh, Krios. No. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Oh my god, if I say that, I, you know why it's cruel. Though his life took him to very dark places. Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. He once said that he first felt love for his wife when she stepped in front of an assassin to save someone she didn't even know. And when he knew his death was close, he chose to die doing nearly the same thing. Also for someone he didn't even know. There will never be an order. Just as he loved his wife for it, I still love him for it. And I don't think that will ever change. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. I have chills right now. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. <laughs> but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. <laughs> but after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Colyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, 
Thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. It's a good memory. It does not feel good, but... Tane didn't regret what he did for his son. He knew what kind of life he led, and he had people with him. He had Shepard and Koliath. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. Okay. About what? He is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. Oh. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel Syndrome, it would be them. Oh, sure. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. Oh my I sent God. them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Are we gonna hear them? It's upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we ready? First message. Okay. I thought over what you said. And in retrospect, I think leaving the Normandy was for the best. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that. I don't want you to worry or feel guilty that you are not with me. Aww. Just... Face it bravely. I know you are good at that. Oh. I love you. I hope the Alliance listens. Keep in touch. Pain. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is... I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying <laughs> taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I feel so sorry. We couldn't ever send him anything. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Goliath has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Goliath. I love him. That means I must trust him.
Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. See ya. I have prepared emails, sent videos, even composed paper letters. I know this will not reach you, but it must be said. I once had no reason to live. Then suddenly, I had two. You and Kolyat. Circumstances keep us apart, so Kolyat takes much of my time, oh, but... Oh, Shepard is crying. I don't know if it's obvious to humans. Fist slams the table. She comes to me, fingers cool and soothing. Thane, be alive with me tonight. I cannot forget you. That is what humans say. With us, it is a state called Tufira. Lost in another. It can consume us. In case you are in the same pain, I want to say... You have only made my life better. You gave me you, Kolyat. Even the Omega-4 relay made me feel... Purposeful. We are alive, Sia. And when we are not, I will meet you across the sea. Oh, this was actually really. I don't know, man. I think. I just gotta say that the fact that I already knew that Tane was gonna die does not cause me to cry remembering him. It just caused me to. Be happy that Shepard could provide him with good memories to go. You know, he had a purpose, he had friends, he had his son, and he could part with the memory of Shepard being his partner. He could love once more, and that's enough for me to not feel sad. You know, it's kind of like they had closure. It's different than like Morning and Legion and like when I thought Grunt was when was gonna die, they didn't have closure. It's kind of like some type of peace that you knew that this was gonna happen. And as heartbreaking as it is, at least he had someone and he we knew, you know. It does not it does not hurt less, but we knew it. You know, grief is a weird thing. It's weird. Because at one point you think that you're alright with things and then another one you are not anymore. And I think that that's with Shepard as well. You could apply that to Shepard. But yeah, let's invite Trainer. That was a really nice moment, and hearing everybody talking about Tain was great. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. But why this my apartment? This place is amazing. <laughs> puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. Oh. And it has a hot tub. It Go does. Ahead. Cheers! Are we gonna- Oh, whoa, 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 girl. Right. Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. <laughs> I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer, a placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. Hmm. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, here you go. What are you doing Thanks. in my house? Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? 
I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Oh. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Oh, she was here. <laughs> Anderson used Nikki. Okay. Okay. Let's go to Samara. After Samara, I think there's only... Jacob and Zaid? Or did we get Jacob already? I don't remember. So many people. Okay, Samara. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. Yeah, they were nice. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars, but I can see where it might make one sentimental. She's so pretty. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard, very much. Let's talk about you. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, <laughs> May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nivos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. I don't think they did. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who'd been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. Hmm. Tell me one. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. You are too. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's nice. It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? <laughs> I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. Oh, this is so nice. Do we have message? No. I think we're good. Right? Yep. I think I gotta leave the apartment again. Okay, so we got Jacob and the Sysac officer over here. <laughs> because apparently Grunt... I, for I kind of forgot for a second after s talking to Coliat and seeing the memorial that Grunt was actually here. How did you get your lead uh, actor to Let's work with wait for project? Jacob. Let's see what's up. What's up, Jacob? Hi. Hey, Shepard, over here. Hi. Hello Thanks there. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Who asked me Out to come? A little R and R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Why are you giving credits to these kids? Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered uh -huh. to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Sure. Let's do it. Great. What game are we playing? This is too serious for us to be playing a game. Oh. Oh, really? Yes. Is your game of skill? Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Oh, really? okay. Trash talk at Shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. No, you don't. You're gonna take me down. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, well, boy. Step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. Ooh. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. 
Hey, hey, you're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's I'm gonna do kick this. your ass. Do I have to do it? Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! Oh, oh am I? Got... Oh, what am I doing? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That's the feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. Careful, Shepard. Oh, I'm Don't gonna die. Now. Here's where my comeback starts. Oh, no. Did I die? Yeah! Jacob wins! Uh, damn. Robbed. I was robbed, I tell you. <laughs> ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Heck, I am a sore loser. Sorry about that. Um, let's go. Let's go to the Silver Run strip. So can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Um, okay, we're... It's a burn strip, okay. Actually, I'm mounting the... Are you the CSEC officer? Oh, officer. there you go. Someone oh requested God. my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. <laughs> Grunt. Right this way, Commander. There is Rex, I think, and Zaid left, right? If Rex is still in here. I think he probably is. Pseudo house. What's, so, Grunt, uh, anything you want to tell me about? What's going on? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lock up. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Why do you want to lock Commander up? Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. Right. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. He's so cute. Yes, ma'am. What, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Was he? Yeah. Didn't feel like sticking around. Oh, so you just jumped. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. I think he's healed. Most people aren't me. Okay, Brent. Why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you out. Everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. Why did you do it? <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. We're gonna pay. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. <laughs> In the Presidium? Oh my god! Uh... Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. <laughs> or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. Why did you do this? CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. <laughs> so how did they catch you? What the Got fuck? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let's fabricate a story for him. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. <sighs> Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, Officer. That's okay. Yeah. Amazing. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. The way I like them. I love you, Grant. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. What the fuck? 
No, oh, I love this DLC. It's so cool. I honestly am gonna say that I didn't like the Brooks part. It's exactly the same as the I, I probably shouldn't be talking like up the points out that I didn't like of the game. You know, people might not enjoy it. But um, I did not really enjoy the part where you had to do like all the Brooks and stuff. I thought the you have clone. A new okay, nice. The clone part was interesting, but Brooks was just like, man. She was zopped from the get go. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the casino thingy. Not my style, I guess. I like stuff like this. Oh, it's her mom. It's her mom. Hi. Sweetheart, it's been a long time since we spoke. Too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible. Maybe you knew that. I don't know, but that, but that's where you find me. Could you call me, please, when you get a chance? I would love to talk to you. Of course. Oh, Miranda. Care for a night out. Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. Oh. You know what that reminds me? That song. Lady in red. She is dancing with me. There's nobody here. <laughs> Just you and me. Let's call mom. Where I wanna be. Anyway, I'm gonna stop singing because Anna I. Shepherd here. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to. I think about you every day. I try not to worry. So the other nice. day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Like her life now. <sighs> yeah. Huh. I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. That's amazing. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. Shepherd. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, honey. So proud. So nice. We ha okay. Let's meet Miranda then. Just keep going like here and there, here and there. And then we're probably gonna start a party. I'm not really sure. Probably gonna be a long episode. Oh yeah. This part of the DLC is just really beautiful. Everything about it, like the way they wrote it. I just thought it was kind of like... I, I don't know, the first part felt kind of off, you know, with the clone thing. Long sidelines, good I usually have like good intuition when it comes to characters that are not nice <laughs> for some reason. I just felt like she was too fake. Uh, is Miranda Super Coast Casino? Oh, sure, sure. Super Coast Casino. Oh, I think it's here. Good luck and good evening. What part of the casino is she? She's the lady in red. Oh, okay. We gotta wait for her. So it's just me and Miranda, nobody else. Oh, we have a dress now. Okay then. And some jewel. Oof. Oh, there she goes. Oh, pretty. Damn, Miranda. Miranda. Cute outfit, Shepard. Perfect. You look beautiful. Thought what we might doing? try an evening out. Finally some downtime. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do. Just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. Everybody feels lost. I got lost. to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. Exactly. <laughs> But I'm intrigued. Hey, you've picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Right? Damn. I'm not very good at this. 
truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. <sighs> Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Hmm. talk? I don't know. Um, uh, maybe we can talk about regular stuff. No evil clones, no picking time bombs, just talk. About what? Regular stuff? Okay. Like shoes or something? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, we're not really girly girls, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no. We can't pretend to be anything other than troubleshooting space divas. You know, that does sound pretty cool. It is cool. It does. All right, let's quit worrying and just enjoy ourselves. At least till we run out of credits. Right. Need more wine. I have a lot now of credits. Now you're talking. Waiter, Space Diva needs more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, <laughs> a lot. Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Are they gonna get drunk? <laughs> She's so pretty, Miranda. Really pretty. What did they do? Oh, it's over. Oh, that was it. No way. Now we're just gonna have to run back to the apartment. This is adorable. Very nice that they brought her twice to the apartment. I wonder if everybody else is gonna be the same. Good evening. Very interesting. It didn't help that we had some. Oh really wait, I am in the wrong place. But even then, I think we had to disable these reaper indoctrination devices, and this crazy ex-Cerberus Vanguard guy insists on doing it. Okay. Also, I'm very surprised that Conrad Werner appeared in the game and was mentioned in the DLC. Like, Conrad, what's up? We have messages we don't have. I guess the DLC is um, the invitations are done for them. Guess that's it. Let us see. Yeah, no more messages. All right, I think that's it. Let's start the party. Everybody is inv invited. I didn't invite everybody. Okay. We invited what everybody. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Energetic. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Exactly. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. Nightclub? I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. How so? What are you doing, Glyph? Oh, this is gonna be messy, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Hi, Cortez! Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Count on it. Oh, hey, Rex! Wait, where's the others? Oh, hi. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Hey, Shepard, join us for a drink. Sure. Sure. How's everyone doing? Good. I'm about halfway to feeling even better. Halfway? Already? Who knew you were such a cheap date, Major? <laughs> so what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Same as you, I just glow blue while I'm doing it. You know any good biotic party tricks? What do you mean? <laughs> Maybe, but they're way more impressive if the audience is drunk, too. No this was a great idea, Shepard. We've all learned a little R&R. &R. That we have, James. Here's to us and a well-earned fiesta. I was saying how good it is to see everyone. <laughs> oh, Samara! Hi! I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric yeah. bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. I imagine. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, what's up? 
So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? I hope not. Still have your toothbrush? We can always... Oh. Get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. She drunk already. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right <laughs> okay. about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in Aww. to the Normandy. Oh, we can talk to them. Hi, I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. <laughs> You're doing fine. Not much for big parties. Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Oh, you can actually. They won't know mine. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. I'm glad we could do this too. Leave, hold on. I'm gonna see if there's anybody wow. else. This is quite the apartment. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? I want to check on a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Oh, there's Demographics. more people here. I'm a You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, he will. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. That's dangerous. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. Wow, Joker. Edie is right here. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will that. note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? That's they true. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. At some point, but yes. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. They did, and after for taking sure. down the collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. <sighs> kind Joe, of. Do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. You should have brought your, you like the your new girl. Crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Edie. Up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. True. You, Joker. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. Is you it? Think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Okay. Gatherings Ooh, nothing. this group is interesting. And respected the dead. Right. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. I can't imagine. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. James. So who is strongest, you or the tank bread? 
Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. Grunt. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. Jesus Christ. The only Christ. thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. And then she ah, says, I, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. <laughs> you boys done talking. <laughs> yeah. Only one way to settle this. No! <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you how you gonna start? No. <laughs> now the party's starting. Shit! <laughs> Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Wow. Y'all really were gonna do that. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Oh, you? In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. Well, well to say so. Is there more people around? Nope. I guess if we change the mood of the party, we get new conversations? Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Let's get louder! The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. And then d we do mellow after everyone gets drunk, you know, so everybody can start crying and everything. Let's see, did it change? There you go, it did. Hey. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. Uh, invite. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody no. wants to come here. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you, it's ugly out there. Uh, it can't be that bad. Hello? Yeah, it can. <laughs> Oh god. Grunt, keep up the good work. Bye. Will do. I told you already. No. I love Grunt. Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Yeah, I, I have not been in a human party before either. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. Okay. Oops, I'm let going me go with to Tarit. the other side. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarit and raise you a Zoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say, consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Ouch. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Y'all are talking about something very interesting, apparently. Hey, guys. <laughs> and shop. No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot? That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Now? Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? Good. You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker! Uh, support Cortez! Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. 
Take that away, you got nothing. He kind of right. Been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted or hung over. He's right about hung that too. The perfect time to train. No. Makes you angry at every loud noise. You shouldn't do that Cortez, though. Cortez, you're on. I can't believe you If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you got to match me shot for shot. Great party. I better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Okay, Cortez. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Oh, you could check it out. Garris? No? Okay, fine. Where's everyone else? Are they are upstairs? What's going on over here? Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. I am a biotic Probably. myself. <sighs> Only a little. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> What I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. I'm checking. Peak physical form, hey? Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. Uh... <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Who wants to? Just go there. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? <laughs> Commander, just listen. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. Right? About cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. Exactly. A person can improve their physique, but biotics... They are what they are. That's a lie. I got And a lot of And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Don't go there. Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a Begin. bit strange. Okay, okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Right, Miranda? Hey, Liara, check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? And where did you find this one, Shepard? I want one. You can have it. Hilarious. Did you, uh, I'm going to support the biotics. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. Don't take it too hard. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Exactly. Okay. More drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Kaden! He's the only one that wants to talk? Hey! <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Except when you're not. And, uh... In that case, find me later. Okay. Sure. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh boy. Oh no. Should <laughs> I find somewhere else to be? Are y'all flirting? No. No, no. I wanted to ask you about. Weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? It's all true. Tolly, please stop helping. I swear to God. <laughs> I really want to play What's as Mayo Shepard, though, in I the future. I am asking a specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. 
This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? Not sure. On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. But why were you well, saying that? The context there that you were talking about quantum entanglement and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... I don't think it was a joke. Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Are you all right? Fair trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. And what you now? You are all terrible. <laughs> Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. Dolly! Everybody, what is happening? I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Was mortifying tell me about it you need not be embarrassed sexual attraction oh my god Edie. and given your orientation and interest in synthetics we can we can stop talking about this whenever you like i practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject i noticed if you are interested i have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics no no, 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 you can't even, no. no. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Oh my gosh, she actually wants it. Can I get you another? Right. Uh, I'm pissed, but I'm not. Oh, what's happening? Are you talking? When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, whatever. James? Not really, no. Oh, yeah. As a kid? Jacob. All the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Liara is... Liara... Wow, Liara, you're the only normal one. Everybody's crazy. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? It tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. What do you mean? Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own batch, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? Nah, this is all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds <laughs> off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. God damn it, they are horrible. All right. I guess we should change Your the guests mood. guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Dance. Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. <laughs> okay. Are you all right now? Everybody oh, everybody's dancing. Ooh, Samara is getting it. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. 
Look at Garrus. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. What? We do what we can. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Probably. Shepard is saving oh the Oh my Earth. god, Dolly! You have to forgive a few eccentricities. Dolly? It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. I want to do Thank a Garry's romance. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. I really want to do a Garry's romance. I'm probably just going to have to watch the Garry's romance, huh? Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. As they are always <laughs> blue. Um, was she? She probably was always blue. Yes, yeah. yeah, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. <laughs> oh my god! That's cheating. Why? What's so happening? He won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. He's a coward. Well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Broken, yes, broken. they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. <laughs> Joker. No. Yes. No. Dance. Seriously. Ugh, fine. <laughs> Lord. Do it, do it, do it. Yes. This is amazing. Are we good? <laughs> I'm gonna feel this in the morning. <gasps> what are they doing? <laughs> God damn it, myself. Happening? I move like a greased one legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What are y'all doing? What's going on over here? Yeah. Shepherd! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. The bottles. It's okay. We're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Oh, you Don't in worry. this case? This happens at Krogan parties all the time. This is not a Krogan party. And yet party. I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. <laughs> As you wish. Javik. What's happening with you guys? I believe the Zaid human is really a Prothean in disguise. I like that one. He and I have discussed conquering the galaxy after the Reapers are gone. Though I do not understand why he's always damning his god. Oh, you mean god damn it? Will we ever understand that? Probably not. Could not. What's happening Could here? You? You've seen Biotics in action. Yeah, let's do it. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? I what do. A guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? <laughs> you got it, Vega. Shepard. What's up? 
Just demonstrating Wait. a little chaotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. What kind of things? Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Don't put him down. Aw. Come on. Let's dance. Says, oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is happening with James? <laughs> my God. Kaden, what the hell? We were talking about Krogan sex. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Get it, Miranda. Strange Ooh. to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Damn, Miranda's getting it. Oh my god, this party is a mess, dude. I love it. It's a mess. Dancing Think, is uh... often considered pleasurable, Jeff. <laughs> well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Hey! Hey! Everyone, come over here for a minute. The party's Let's get over. Get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy. Aww. This is so nice! This is so cool, I love it. I really like this moment. Oh, what a night. Now look who's here. Ooh. Aww. Mm. Good morning. Uh, is it morning? It is. It'd be so nice to lie here all day with you. Let's see if anyone else is up. Oh, everybody is sleeping in, in here. Oh, that's nice. Tin is spirit as in war asset. Okay. Shepherd, hope you're well. New mission on Tuchanka could end things. Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. Oh, no. But entertainment, useful at times. Good luck. Oh, no. I can't believe they fucking did it. Oh no! In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate. Then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes to cells, lead separate lives. Oh no, this was a little bit. Hello, Harry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth, vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated <laughs> with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Baron. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Oh, I can't believe they did that. Limp, struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. <laughs> or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of 40. course. See, children? <laughs> Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Oh, Next I'm so sorry. <laughs> attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Perry the pie jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? I'm probably like the... <laughs> I, it was an instant reaction. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe they did that. Oh. Lysine, 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 Lysine,
so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups you'll find serine and threonine. For sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases you have arginine, lysine and histidine. From protein we are formed. Now the aromatics! Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids as we've seen. Or am I see asparagine and also glutamine from protein we are formed. That was a little blue. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble topper <laughs> shifted deep asari blue as it came God. to my door. Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. <sighs> Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got Ooh. lucky. Said this was an easy <laughs> job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. Asari very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened... Did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in other room. Another black widow standing over oh me. Oh my god. Only loose end left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said. And threw my <laughs> biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be an afterlife myself. Oh, wait. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. Wait, is he talking about area? <laughs> Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have oh, okay. already come. Tis grace that brought me safe thus far. Stop, I'm gonna cry again. Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. Is it over? In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to yeah. chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate. Then telophase arrives. Aww. And when cytokinesis comes to cells, lead separate. God, fuck this game. Fuck this game. Did we uh, break anything <laughs> last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> only my feelings yeah, for you. Okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> That's the best thing about her. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. You need to Miranda be alive. takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her genes, I she wouldn't need to. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. Okay. The apartment seems so quiet now. It does. Tamara. Shepard, good morning. Morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. And I want to thank you for coming. It was good to see everyone again. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. It was amazing, and now you guys are gonna make me cry again. God damn it. Oh, Tally, are you alright? I am going to die. You're gonna be fine. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Oof. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Uh... Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. <laughs> You're alright. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. I hope you're gonna be okay, Tali. Ugh. God, this game. I can't believe it made me cry. 
I, I did not expect that at all, like seriously. Oh boy. Did I miss something? I think I missed something in the DLC. So last night, I didn't do anything, did I? You did, actually. You said a lot of stuff. I think I missed the stuff because apparently there was going to be more. Like I had to go on a dinner with... Caden? Right? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet. So maybe I just imagined that last part. Okay. I'm almost sure someone was recording us though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. It's fine. Hey. So can't I look at my messages? I can't. I guess I missed something. I probably am gonna have to search to see because I don't know if I did. I think I broke my head on something last night. You had butted Rex. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. What did you do in the bathroom? Shepherd. Hi. Miranda. Morning, Shepherd. I had a lovely time last night. Glad you enjoyed it. Okay, who wants eggs? I do. They are. Eggs? Trainer. Esteban. Eggs? Joker. Where is that guy? Who knows? Kid, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex? Buddy? Eggs? <laughs> Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik? Man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda? Everybody wants your eggs, I guess. James? I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Yeah, everybody kinda did. Except Tali, she's dying. Mmm, good tea. Mmm. Okay. Now that was a great time. It was great, yeah. Really fun. There's coffee, who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? You are! <laughs> What is happening? Shepherd? Eggs? Yes, your eggs, sure. Shepherd. Shepherd. <laughs> God damn it. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Edie! That was a joke. Oh my God. <laughs> I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Sure. We're gonna have breakfast then. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. I kinda did, but I cried first thing in the morning. Oh, I would've thought all those tequila shots with James would've prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Me too. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. <laughs> I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Aww. Shepard. Shepard. Oh, that's nice. Oh my god, is that Joker? <laughs> He's dying over there. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. Yeah. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like this. You're 700? Huh. Uh. Oh, he's not well. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Are you all right? <laughs> so I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Okay. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Uh, all right. Uh, still fun though. Yeah, you have a hangover. Commander. You're you're gonna need. Are we done with the DLC? No way. There is more stuff, right? Gotta return to the Normandy already. Let me see. Ah, uh, we got to. Oh no, I didn't want to. Oh no. I'm probably just gonna take a while to, I don't know, scan the planet. 
All right, you guys, that's the end of the DLC, I think. We should probably return to the Normandy. We talked to everybody. Let's see what's up in the Normandy. Let's see what's up, and then we can, like, finish it up for today, I guess. Um, I recorded the rest of the Citadel DLC. Talked to everybody. It was really nice. Morning's message, definitely. <laughs> definitely got me emotional, like this game always does. Seeing Miranda again was great. Oh. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah. yeah. There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. <laughs> pass around the aspirin. You got it. Ah, uh, we're back to the Normandy. It's kind of sad, though, that we have to leave, like, the comp... Oh, hi. What's happening? going on I guess we better get back to it yeah at least we threw one hell of a party probably the last one don't say <laughs> that Shepard you uh you will find a way to win. I know it. And when you do, I'll be waiting. Yeah. Greatest challenge of my life. And the greatest reward. It's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. Oh, this is amazing, dude. If the graphics were not doing some shit there, it would be even more amazing. Oh, I love the, this DLC. Like I said, the first part, I was kind of like skeptical, but... Oh, this was incredible. Do we have any messages we don't write? All right, then. That's gonna be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was so amazing. So awesome. I just have no words to describe how much this game has been... I don't know. Fascinating. Incredible. Amazing. It's just the character development. The depth in the story. Just, I think that Mass Effect 3 is definitely my favorite from the trilogy. And... Now that we're almost over with it, I am definitely gonna miss it so, so much. It's just an incredible journey. Incredible. I am very excited to get into Andromeda, but I know that there's gonna be like that little side of me that is gonna compare the characters with, you know, the crew of the Normandy. And that's not something that I like doing, but I don't know. I feel like that's gonna happen. And I think that you know, I'm going to record tomorrow, so probably tomorrow is going to be the last time that I'm going to be playing Mass Effect 3 for the first time. Of course, there's always like the chance to play it again and do different outcomes, different romances, do Renegade or like Soul Paragon or just, you know, roleplay again. But I think that the first time playing it is special and you don't have this feeling again when you play it the second time. You get the nostalgia and... You know, you might cry and you might feel bad about the decisions that you made. But the first experience is just insane. And I think that the crew at BioWare did such an amazing job with this DLC. Um, like I said, the first part got me skeptical a little bit because I didn't really like the whole thing with Brooks. And I think I thought like the clone thing was not really like... I don't know, it was fun. But it got me more angry than anything because like Brooks was so annoying. I am sorry, she was annoying from the get go. I didn't like her from the get go. I don't know why, but like I had a hint that she was a traitor because it, it was just too. It, it was kind of like obvious, but yeah, um, we don't need to talk about the part that. I mean, even like the best movies out there, there are parts that we don't fully enjoy. I am, unfortunately, a very 
honest and honest person when it comes to how I feel about things and I always have to t like you know when I'm playing a game I always have to let people know when I am enjoying am enjoying a part or when I am not enjoying a part as well so yeah that first part was definitely not my cup of tea but definitely the second part where you get to see everybody was just incredible incredible I am in no way criticizing the DLC by the way I think it's incredible I just didn't really like the character you know Brooks and the second Shepard pissed me off a little bit as well but overall it was amazing just seeing the crew get together and support Shepard that way I am talking so much right now but I just feel like it's important to make clear how I'm feeling about it and my expectations for the ending are very very high so I'm hoping that it's gonna be an ending fit for the trilogy as we speak right now I have only posted two episodes on the channel so I'm very very far ahead on the game and I did so because I wanted to play it as blindly as possible so I hope that I am nervous, but I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy the episodes because there is a lot to go through and I'm just looking at the editing list and it's it's insane. Like seriously, it's insane. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today for the ending of the Citadel DLC. I know that this video and the past one didn't have a intro, but it's just because I am recording like in bulk and I didn't know where to stop, so that's gonna... I'm gonna have to see on the recording but yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next episode of Mass Effect 3 I almost said Red Dead Redemption 2 for some reason but Mass Effect 3 it's probably gonna be the last or one before the last but yeah I'll see you bye